So I wanted to share something with you guys. I had a very interesting experience at the end of yesterday's workout and didn't realize it would it would lead into the night and uh, coincide with my dreams and my sleep and very, very interesting stuff. So Julian and the Strong Fit community has talked a little bit very briefly about emotional mapping and workouts that you can do done with different breathing, done with different movements, done with different stuff to lead you to unlocking uh, stored emotional traumas. The idea of stored emotional trauma in the body is not a new one. Um, it has not been explored very well and it has not been explored fully or grasped really at all by the medical industry um, and seems a little woo-woo for people. But people like Dr. John Sarno um, have dealt with it, a lot of other people have dealt with it uh, individually and they've usually been scorned for it or lost their medical licenses or whatever for being proponents of it. Anyway, Julian and Richard have been pioneering their own, uh, their own version of emotional mapping and I think inadvertently last night without any instruction from them um, but just working on something that I thought I needed to work on I think I inadvert inadvertently stumbled on a piece of it um, and so I'm gonna take my workout today and I'm gonna see if I can unlock a little bit more of it I was doing some I did a burn the questions workout with a sandbag which was great um, I don't believe that that had a lot to do with it. I had worked my calves the day before at the end of the workout as a finisher. Then yesterday at, at the end of the workout, I liked the single leg seated calf raise so much that I wanted to do it again. So I did, but this time I wrapped my neoprene belt around my calf. The entire purpose of this being that I was going to make my calf go into fight because it's significantly smaller than my other calf. So I was just working the one calf with a single leg weighted um, calf raises. Anyway, so I worked it to the point where it was cramping pretty badly. I did about 50 reps with it, which was fine, um, not in a row. I did 15 and then 10 and then it broke down into like sevens and fives and stuff like that. Uh, and it was, I had about 120 pounds on the one knee and on the one leg and I had the neoprene around the calf and I was cramping and it felt great and I did some nasal breathing and it was good and there was some good eccentric and some pausing and all of that thrown in there and I could feel my hip flexor working because you know if you're if you have your leg like this and you're doing this your hip flexor is going to start working so I could feel my hip flexor working and my calf was working and it was great so then last night I ate dinner and I, was, I went to sleep and probably halfway through the night I woke up to go to the bathroom and I came back and realized that, oh, and when I hopped in the shower earlier in the night, so this is to backtrack just a second, when I hopped in the shower earlier and the same thing had happened the day before, because of having so much load on the calf, that calf was, had, it was shaking and it was very difficult to stand on that leg because of just the um, intensity that I worked that calf at. Uh, and as a result, it went upstream and it was like my hamstring and my quad and everything was shaking as well. Um, so anyway, fast forward, I wake up from sleep, go to the bathroom, come back, and my hamstring, my inside hamstring, not my calf, but my inside hamstring, is twitching from the pination point down here in the back of the leg, all the way up into the hip um, and it just did, it just was doing that all night long and I would go in and out of sleep it didn't hurt but it was just twitching um, you know how you get muscle ticks you know like in your eye or you know whatever you know on the side of your arm or whatever it is um, and it coincided with dreams that I was not able to remember. I was not able to grasp the essence of the dreams, but they were, it was like something was trying to wake up and my subconscious was trying to talk to me somehow and I couldn't remember it, but I knew that they were important. Anyway, all of that to say, I'm gonna try and give it another run today, uh, not try and mimic the same workout, but target 
the left side and see if I can work from the psoas and the oblique down to the calf through the hamstring and the glute, see if I can work back and forth until I unlock something. Uh, hopefully I do. Hopefully this will be similar to finding my hamstrings. When I found my hamstrings however many months ago, um, that was revelatory and I, while it hurt, I really enjoyed the finished product of it. Uh, anyway, so very, very interesting. Unlocking emotional traumas, even traumas that have been passed down genetically. Uh, there's research to suggest that that is a thing. Uh, and the calves are a place that they get stored. Uh, but if, if a muscle is lagging, if a muscle is hurting, if something is, if a limb is smaller, for me, my entire left side is smaller. It makes me think that there is some serious trauma that's locked away that either I don't remember or I don't want to remember or something. There's something there that I couldn't deal with at the time and so my body stored it. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to try this out. Let me know if you guys have had any similar experiences like this. Um, I've had a couple of other experiences with the shoulder, uh, with the serratus, and with the oblique where I've unlocked some weird stuff and it's it's been pretty interesting. It gets me looking back at traumas that took place, things that took place. We all have trauma, we all have stuff. It may not be on it may be on different levels than some people, you know. Um, there are incredible, like incredibly damaging traumas, and then there are traumas that are not incredibly are are damage us but aren't at the outset, why are those damaging? Why did that damage you that way? Um, anyway, let me know in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I'll post something about this if I get to unlocking the trauma that's stored there in these muscles.